Uh, next game, Brad. We have uh, this is even odds game, so it's Minnesota plus minus zero. It's even. Minnesota versus Detroit at Detroit in a pick 'em. Ooh! Oh my God, man, this is really tough. I mean, I guess, <laughs> boy, is this tough. Yeah. I, 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 it's like I can't even really make it. I mean, it's it's a pick 'em in every way, shape, and form. <laughs> How do I lean one way? I mean, Detroit is playing at home. Okay, great, but they're also they they're on a short week. Right, so mm-hmm. that doesn't help their cause. Um, Kirk Cousin looked fantastic last week, so does that mean he's going to look terrible this week? Right, right. Or are they, or are they flying? Yeah, um, I'm going to go with Minnesota. Yeah, hey, there's something about Detroit that still doesn't let them like be good, and I don't know what it is. You say it's Matt Stafford. There's <laughs> it's that energy, man. It's that negative energy. I know, right? And they have they have ballers up and down the the squad, and um, especially defensively. I thought they had a lot of good players defensively. They're playing well. They are playing right? well. I mean, that Flowers guy, he was picked on and, and scrutinized, but he's great, man. Yeah. And they had a couple of DBs. Can I can I say one more thing, dude? Mm. In the Packer game, the Detroit defender, a cornerback. Went low to make a play on the ball on Geronimo Allison, and he ended up hitting him in the helmet, right? Mm-hmm. And he was flagged, and according to the rule, he should be flagged. But what is he supposed to do? Because mm. he, yeah, he, no. he, he didn't spear him. It, had, it looked like it had zero intention of, like, yeah. I'm going to nail this guy in his head and, and, and put him out. So what's he supposed to do? I mean— yeah, you know, this is another tangent. Maybe we save it for another time. But here's here's a completely off topic uh, little thing. So in uh, in in the U.S. and I guess probably the world, you get you get penalized for the result, not the intent. And mm, so okay. I, I, I maybe it was like a business law book I was reading when I was going through college or something like that. But I, the the one one of those things will stick with you, right? Like some passage you read, and it's um the example they gave yeah. was if it, let's say Brad, you want to murder um. Um, Jay Cutler, okay? And you're like, Jay Cutler, I think he's allergic to uh, poppy seeds, so I'm going to I'm gonna make him a salad. I'm going to put all these poppy seeds in there. And you give him a salad with poppy seeds. Yeah. He eats a salad. He's not allergic to poppy seeds, but he drops dead because he's allergic to, like, bell peppers, okay? Okay. And you had bell peppers in there. Your intent was to kill him, but the result of your intended murder – would not get you actually um you would be able to ex- be exonerated because the poppy seeds that you put in layered in there that even though that was your intent that's not what the uh what the cause was so so what you're saying is it's it's the defender's responsibility to make sure that doesn't happen yeah and you know okay. the, the result the for the result for NFL fans is um is we're going to see a lot more missed tackles <laughs> You know, yeah, or a lot more penalties. Right. Um, that's really what we get there. But yeah, it's a tough, it's a tough one, man. And and Detroit for this game, I really don't know what to do. I lean towards Detroit, but my computers, like you, Brad, take Minnesota in this game, um, and I think unanimously, if I'm not mistaken. So I I I think Detroit's going to get it done. They've had two tough losses against two really tough teams: um, Kansas City before their bye week and Green Bay Monday Night Football. Uh, you know, this comes down to whether or not, to me, I think it comes down to whether or not Detroit can limit Dalvin Cook. Um, man, it, it, it is a pick on man. It is a pick on I'm just going to take Detroit, and I'm going to leave it at that. I don't okay. I don't feel great about it. I'm not going to put my money on it, but we're making picks here, so I'll pick Detroit. Um, Fantasy-wise, I actually don't have Cousins as a start this week. Dalvin Cook, I love. Um, I love Adam Thielen. I don't like Diggs to reproduce his numbers from last week, this, uh, this coming week. For Detroit, I don't have Stafford as a start. Um, I have Galladay as a start. Um, so there you go. Again, analytically speaking, Minnesota is, is the one to pick because I think their offense is a little bit more mature, but it's the Cousins versus Stafford factor. Which one's going to lay the egg? I, I don't know. Uh-huh, right. I don't know. And Man, since that, Cousins that's... is on the road and Stafford's at home, I'm going to say Stafford is the less likely to lay the egg, but... I don't know. It's a tough game, man. Tough game. Mm-hmm. Uh-